With all the help he's been giving in the past few episodes, Bob is starting to feel like a depreciation champion. But there's one more thing he'd like to know. So far, he's learned how to calculate his depreciation each year and record it. But Bob would like to know if there is a way to calculate all of the depreciation for all years at once and see how much his equipment is worth at the end of each year. What Bob is asking about is called a depreciation schedule. A depreciation schedule shows the depreciation calculated for each year and shows the net value of the fixed assets after each depreciation expense. Let's help Bob fill the depreciation schedule for his manufacturing equipment. A simple depreciation schedule has three key calculations. Annual depreciation, accumulated depreciation, and net asset value. Each of these calculations should be a review as Bob has learned these over the last several videos. In the first column, Bob will enter his annual depreciation each year. As a quick reminder, his equipment had an original cost of $3,000, a salvage value of $200, and a useful life of seven years. This means his annual depreciation is $400. Now you may have noticed that Bob's depreciation schedule was eight years when his useful life was only seven. That's because in our video on partial year depreciation, we learned that Bob's first year owning the asset, he couldn't depreciate the full one $400 because he didn't own the asset for the full year. He only got to depreciate $100 the first year. The rest of the 300 will be recorded in year eight. So don't let the extra year confuse you. It's just there to finish up the last of Bob's partial year depreciation. Now, let's have Bob enter in his annual depreciation for each year. Perfect. The next step is for Bob to calculate his accumulated depreciation. As a reminder, accumulated depreciation is where we collect or accumulate all of the depreciation expense from this and prior years for any assets we fill up. In year one, there are no prior years, so we can just add in this year's depreciation expense as accumulated depreciation. But on year two, we can add the $400 from year two to the $100 already in accumulated depreciation, and the new total accumulated depreciation value increases to $500. Each year, the current year's balance simply gets added to whatever balance was in accumulated depreciation from the prior year. Now that's not too hard, is it? Let's let Bob fill in his accumulated depreciation value. Anyway, now the last piece of the schedule is the net asset value. Sometimes, this is called the book value of the fixed asset because it is the value kept in your accounting books or records. Net or book value is simply the asset's original value minus the current year's accumulated depreciation. For example, Bob's equipment originally cost $3,000. At the end of year one, Bob had an accumulated depreciation value of $100. So at the end of year one, his asset had a book value of $2,900, the $3,000 minus the $100. After year two, Bob's accumulated depreciation had increased to $500. This means that at the end of year two, Bob's equipment had a net value of the original cost, $3,000, minus the accumulated depreciation of $500, which equals $2,500 as a net value. So accumulated depreciation and net value have what's called an inverse relationship. This means that as the accumulated depreciation goes up, the book value goes down. Let's let Bob finish entering his net value for his assets. Now that Bob is finished, you can see that the remaining net value after year eight is $200. You may recall that this is the exact amount of the salvage value of the equipment. If you have done the schedule right, the remaining net value should always be your salvage value. Salvage value is the amount you think you can sell it for after its useful life. 
so we want that value to stay after we're finished depreciating the asset. This is a great way for Bob to check his work and make sure his depreciation schedule was built correctly. If his net asset value at the end of the depreciation schedule matches the salvage value, he knows the schedule is correctly calculated. Good job, Bob! To learn more about depreciation and other accounting topics, check out more of my accounting videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.